when I first got saved, I was DJ. Okay. When I got saved, my equipment got stolen. <laughs> so once my equipment got stolen, I was like, I just started writing rhymes. I didn't have, I didn't have no more equipment, but I had, <laughs> you know, I still have my crates and some stuff. Right, right. So uh, I just started writing to the breaks and stuff. Mm-hmm. God started really getting a hold of me at the time I was married. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She said, you just... You should try writing rhymes about your experience. Mm. And I went, you know, that's kind of dope. Because I was trying to get away from wow. the hip hop thing at the time okay. because it was it wasn't edifying my soul. I got you, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't like I never liked choir music. <laughs> so I didn't have nothing to really listen to. Yeah. So I started writing my own rhymes okay. just for me. Nothing to do with anybody else. Right. The church I started going to, mm. you know, one day I had a cassette on my joints. And we was just listening to it in the parking lot. Okay. And Cass was responding to it like, yo, this is dope, man. What is this? You know, this is, man, you talking about God? This is dope. And the youth pastor came out there and thought we was bumping secular music in the parking lot. And he came out there with a judgment. He came out with an axe. With security. (laughs) He was like, yo, don't be disrespecting the parking lot like this. The cats that was out there with me went to bat for me. He was like, nah, man, this is him. This is gospel rap. He was like, gospel rap. Right. Now he on to it.